Alright, coming at you live from the kitchen floor. Got some goodies in the mail. Woo! Um, ordered this about a week ago. I don't know if you can tell what it says already. Came from Quadratech. Uh, we're gonna start getting the Jeep ready for maybe some summer use. So let's go for the big package first. Alright. So I picked up one of these uh, cheap winches. This one's made by Quadratech. Seems to have a little better specs than all the other cheap ones like, uh, oh, what is it, the Harbor Freight brand and I think everybody sells a cheap winch now, but this one seemed pretty good. It's the 9,000 pound, not the big 11,000 because I don't need that much. Ooh, she's pretty. Start pulling boxes apart and see what get her out of here. Alright. Right off the bat we go for the uh use the little remote switch in out. Pretty simple. Cheap little switch, it's already uh loose. That's alright. In out. I think it's like a twenty foot cord or something like that, I don't know, twelve foot, whatever. I'm not big on super details or stuff like this. It's something that I'm not going to use very often. Don't know what that is. It's obviously a ground cable of some sort. I believe these are different mounts for the, uh, the solenoid. These are options to mount it on top or the side. Thing weighs about 70 pounds, I think it was. It's not light. We got some hardware. And there's the hook. Where are you at? There you are. It's a maker. I'm going to off for you. Not much to it. Forge 3 8 Halfway pre wired, huh? so there's all my wires. This will be all the motor control wires. That's your straight battery wire. Let's figure out how to wire this thing in since my battery on the Jeep's in the back now. I have to run some extra wire. Yep, there she is, Quadratech. Not bad looking. Yeah, see these smooth. This one's like textured. A little extra grip, I guess. <clears throat> cool. And the witch. Try not a new cam camera angle here. Hopefully it's working out all right. Make sure it's not even in the camera view. Let's see what we got. Nine thousand pounds. Weighs a ton. I think it weighs nine thousand pounds. Holy cow! Yeah. She's a beaut. Yeah. Give me a little closer up. So, 
That's a winch. Put a zip tie on there holding it together. The Q9000. Not much to it. It's just a motor on a spool, some gearing. She's heavy duty though, that's for sure. Jeez. Free spool, clutch and gauge. Got all my connections back here. Pretty, uh, that's it. Cool. That ought to weigh down the front of the Jeep a little. And to go with that, we'll jump over to this box. hundred dollar uh, recovery kit a little cheaper than all the other brands it seems to be about the same stuff so it's kind of get me everything I need to start winching especially since all my stuff disappeared over the years so there's a little canvas bag Quadrajack logo on it. So that'll store everything in it. I got okay. Snatch block. So you can uh, get all crazy on winching and whatnot. Got me a couple shackles. I don't know what they're at. Three quarter inch shackles. They throw in a pair of gloves, which pretty much look like mechanics gloves. They said mechanic style. Let's see. Let's see if they're worth it. Uh, got the padding on them and whatnot. No brand. They didn't even ask me what size. Large. Oh, that, that's my size. Perfect. Those will actually work good to keep in there. Cool. Then we got the old, uh, the old deal here. <coughs> this is the piece they want you to. Jeez. Lots of velcro. It's the deal they want you to throw over your winch line and stuff so that it doesn't. If it does break loose or something, it doesn't come flying back at you. Probably your view just plain sucks here. Way down there. Ooh, let me see if I can... Lots of Velcro. I'm not going to unwrap these for now. That's a tree saver. Is it six or eight feet, something like that? Wraps around the tree so you don't tear up a tree if you have to go around it. Oh, and that's a pretty small one. That's a... Actual recovery strap. Yeah, it's a pretty small one. It's supposed to be like 20,000 pounds. It's long though, that's good. I'd like to get a real big one that I don't have to worry about breaking. So, yeah, that's it for now. Um, anybody knows my Jeep doesn't have a winch mount on it, so. There might be something else coming in the mail here in a few days. Talk to you later.